you're here, then that means this is Kettle's farm. I almost can't believe it. You were only a few days walk away. I wish I'd known you were so close. You look haggard, my love. And yet, you're even more beautiful. I've missed you. Wait. Why is she, does she look scared? Damn, it's looking bo bad for you, Ada. Our boy, he must have grown so much by now. Oh man, I've got a feeling that the young man's gone. Guilty is. He gone. Come on, Nate. Let's go home. Oh, the dude is gonna lose it when he finds out. You and me and our son. Go home. Don't even think about it, Arnade. <laughs> Step away. Let me sneak it here, bro. Something wrong with him, boss. It was like he forgot he was being chased right when he saw our nave. You said this is the man who killed Lizard, right? <gasps> yes, boss. Split his head like a log. Damn. <laughs> right then. He came here so he could kidnap our nave. Protect her with your life. Done. Are you that bastard, Kettle? Hmm. So what if I am? <clears throat> then you'll die here! Stop no. Him, You're gonna get yourself killed! This is triggering you. <laughs> Don't do it, Anar! Why, why, why? What's going on right exactly. Now? To attack Snake with that no, he's just jealous. You know exactly what's going on. Our name's husband escaped his master so he could rescue her. This could be your only chance. Don't you want her to be free? Oh, I okay. Do. But look around you. You'd have to kill three men to get away. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not strong enough to kill them all. But I can at least get one. Stop it. That's not what I'm no, trying to hey, say. Come on, Amy. Stop simping. Are you capable of killing someone? Whether it's a guest or not, it's still a life. Do you think you could use this axe to end one? Uh huh. Because they will kill him. What then? What else am I supposed to do here? That's a smart choice, Thorfinn. Both of you stay back there and watch quietly. I'm taking him alive. Hmm. I need to question him to confirm he's. The fact that these guys. Thought they could capture somebody like this and keep him tamed is actually insane, bro. Because he looks skilled. Okay, but they caught uh, Thorfinn. Your mouth. This fight is over as soon as I'm done warming up. And speaking of which, <laughs> did any deep. of you manage to hit him? Uh, none of us could. Sorry, boss. Well, somebody did. How did the three of you lose to a wounded runaway slave? <laughs> uh, 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 
So that's where it was. <laughs> Come here, Badger. Tie him up for me. Oh, Badger. Badger, better be careful. Yeah, I want to know how they're going to be leaving. I want five men watching him at all times. And Fox, I want you to send word to Kjalker's uncle that we've caught his fugitive. Yes, sir. Now then. I can tell you've got something to say. But don't. A slave's opinion doesn't matter. Why can't you let him go free? This is wrong. It's cruel. He split open the head of one of my men. He's suspected of killing others, too. He also showed intent to kill the master and attempted to kidnap the master's darling Arnave. We don't let men like that go. It's how it is. Yeah. Uh, poor girl. You need to forget about him. It's over. That man's not your husband anymore. Just a runaway slave who's lost his mind. Don't get involved with this, understand? Look after the old man for me. Damn. Dude, just that. I'd like you to sit back down. Chill, bro. It won't be much longer before dinner is ready. At night, after it's dark, we sneak into the fort. Then we find Garther and set him free. It's not a great plan. But if we don't do something, your husband will die. Thank you. But it's all right. Sometimes things can't be changed. Well. It's better not to do anything in those situations. Let's stay still. And wait until the storm has passed. I don't want to see anyone else get caught up in this, Sainar. So that's it then? Don't you love Garther? I do. Our parents were the ones who decided that we should be married. But he was always kind to me. And to our son as well. Then we go. Let's save him. Even if it means fighting Snake and his men, we have to do something. You agree with me, don't you, Thorfinn? Dude, you're so close to getting your freedom. You can't. I can draw the guards away. Help me. I lost my son. I lost him over pots, if you can believe that. Over pots, what is that? If you would like, I can tell you more. It's not all that long of a story. Just something that happened a long time ago.
Before we came to Denmark, my family lived far from here in a village in Sweden. We weren't wealthy, nor did we starve. Our life was simple. Mm. Around the time our son was a year old, a marsh that had iron in it was found deep in a distant forest. None of the groups who had laid claim to the land could agree on who rightfully owned the marsh, so they fought over it. We weren't a part of the conflict at first, but a friend of Garthar's was. He came to him and asked for his help. Garthar told the rest of the village about what was happening, and the men all gathered to discuss it. Should we join in the conflict, or stay out? If we won, we'd be gaining iron. The men thought it would be worth the risk, so they joined the fight. And we got slaughtered. The women were all shocked. It didn't make any sense for them to go. We'd be fine without the iron. Our village already had all the pots and sickle blades that we needed. It didn't matter. The men had made their decision. And women can't change decisions made by men. Bang. That's Please, cool. You don't have to do this, Garther. It's not as though we're suffering from a lack of anything right now. Why are you going to risk your life over something we don't need? Our knave. <sighs> we do need it. Ingve of the West is a very passionate and ambitious man. If control of the marsh falls to him and his clan, the balance of power in the area will change. So what is it? Is it like a symbolic thing to have that? Our village will become wealthy. And us along with it. <laughs> You'll be good now. Your father has to go fight so he can protect you and your mother. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand it. That hurts, boy. <laughs> if only he stayed behind with us. We might never have lost our freedom. So what did they capture? That fight. They'd be back. The women and children remained to defend our homes. Things were fine for a few weeks. Only a few. Look. When we saw the ships along the coast, we thought the men had finally returned home. Oh, man. Instead, it was our enemy. Of course. Burn everything, take the women. They attacked huh. knowing that the men wouldn't be there to fight back. Our homes were burned. The elderly were slaughtered. Oh, then, man. They took the women and put us all on ships. So this is what Sophie wants to end. I don't know how you're going to do that, homie. <laughs> oh, It's crazy that that you actually assumed that kid is still with her, bro. After being captured. When I saw Garther today, and I'm, I'm, I wonder like what's what's Kettle's dad thinking at this time. I'm sure whatever horrible suffering he's experienced has changed him for the worse. He's no longer the man I knew. Now he is the storm. So I'll wait and let this pass. I must protect my child 
from these men and all of their storms. You said child? Oh, she knows who he is. Oh, Flip. But yes, I did say my child, mine and Master Kettles. Yeah. And that kid has claimed to the throne now. I'm sure he'll welcome them. After all, he's been hoping for one. Oh. Might even celebrate after I tell him. I could raise a healthy child here. They'd know only peace. They could grow and play and be loved. So please stay here and wait, Ana. <laughs> the storm will pass. Mm. Be there before it does. Just resting in a sleep. Disgusting. I thought you were waiting, Arne. You had a whole story about how dangerous storms like this can be. So you heard all that? I hadn't realized. Huh. Maybe if you of course he was listening. If you had gone completely senile, you would have noticed. I haven't lost my senses yet, so don't underestimate me. I just thought... I could at least tend to his wounds. But I shouldn't. Damn. She was camping. <laughs> choice. So then why am I standing in an open door? I've been where you are a long time ago. I too was patiently waiting for a storm to pass. No, that's a lie. I was hiding, not waiting. And I trembled the whole time. How long's it been? It had to be more than 20 years ago by now. I was still in charge of the farm back in those days. Kettle was in love with a girl from our village, and she with him. But one day the girl caught the eye of a man named Ebba, and he also fell in love with her. He was from a nearby village, and he'd been growing in wealth and power. Eventually, I was forced to make a very painful decision. Kettle was ready and eager to fight and protect his love from the man who would take her for his own. But at the time, we were still weak, especially compared to Eva. A lot of people were scared at how powerful he'd become. They thought he'd wipe us out if we stood up to him. So we decided the best thing to do was submit. And handed the girl over to him. Any Norseman would be disgusted if they heard that. And they'd have every right to be. I offered up a young woman to protect myself. Hmm. Then it happened. On the day of her and Ebba's wedding. It 
was the work of a man who envied Ebba and resented him for his vast wealth and power. I rushed to the wedding as soon as I heard what happened. But by the time I got there, everything had been burned to ashes. Hmm. Why does this always happen? Mm. Yeah, it's, not a, it's not a nice time to live in, bro. The only thing I can say is this. Even if you can stand aside and wait for the storm to pass, it doesn't mean you can escape the scars it will leave behind. have a choice to make. I'm sorry I can't do anything to help. Oh. Don't fuck around and get killed. Don't be. I'll be back soon. <laughs> 